right, welcome to turn 33. Been a while. Um, but real life and all that. And I'm going to say that probably every video now. Um, but there we go. So, um, I suppose the first couple of bits are we've got um, some... Um, can't even think of the word now. We've got some dispatches from our allies. So, issued 1800s. Um, and this is from the Prince of Orange to Zetan, who we informed him what we're sort of doing with Second and Third Corps. Sir, so thank you for your report regarding the advance of the French forces and the planned arrangement for your corps. I can inform you that the Duke's orders are for my corps to concentrate around Quatre Bras with a covering division forward of Nivelle uh, around the village of Bouillet. My corps is in the process of making defensive arrangements around these places, much am I. Uh, it's been reported to me that no French movement has been seen to the west of Charleroi interesting to the brussels road so where are they coming from i have a small forward detachment around the village of frasne uh if so you plan to make a stand to the west of Bois de Hout, Hout. Uh, i have to inform you that no the concentration of the duke's army cannot be completed until first light on the 17th i trust the duke will be here tomorrow morning to arrange the mutual cooperation of our own armies which is what we're expecting anyway the second file that we have um let me just get this up is from Old Nosy himself to Beluca. So from Brussels, 1815. My dear Prince, I thank you for your timely situation report of your army's movements. My army has been ordered as follows. The Army Corps of the Prince of Orange is to march to Catrabra with one division to move in reserve to the village of Bouillet, defending the road to Nivelle. Our army's light cavalry brigades have been ordered to scout for any French movement towards the old Roman road and Nivelle, and thereafter to retire to cover the Prince of Orange's second corps at Catrabra. Interesting. Uh, the Corps of Lord Hill has likewise ordered, been ordered to Catrabra and are not expected to arrive there before the end of day on 16th of June, so we're going to have to wait a while. Our army reserve has been ordered to march to Catrabra, so everybody's coming to Catrabra, which is good, I think. Uh, and we'll arrive there at noon tomorrow. The cavalry brigade under the command of uh, Dornberg has been ordered to scout the Charleroi Road and to cooperate with your army if found to be moving towards Quatre Bras. I shall be leaving Brussels in the early morning and will arrive at the church at Genappe. So he's coming to Genappe. Good. Before noon, we're all being well. We can meet to discuss. Okay, so that's the discussion where we are going to have a Zoom call. Right, what have we got then? So, um... They're all coming to Katrabra. Um, so am I a little bit too south for that? So it's going to be a, a strange shape front line. If I was to draw a potential front line, Katrabra is going to be something like that. And we've got the Buddha hut in the middle, which will be good ground. Tough for them to go through. We'll see them go through. It's not too bad, actually. We could spin him... And then Von Bulo comes in on the right flank, or my left flank, saves the day. <laughs> we will see. Right, so, um, where's the, uh, I can't remember his name now. The, Dornberg, that's the one. So he scouted and will help us to a certain extent. Now, what have we got here? Oh, he's in amongst them. Oh, they were in amongst them last time, weren't they? Okay, he's pushed forward with this cavalry. He's getting a bit brave with them. Try and get my cavalry here. My first call reserve cavalry back through this gap. That's the plan. Get this artillery unlimbered to give them a bit of cover. In fact, in fact... In fairness, this was to get there was a bit of a stopgap to let uh, get everybody out, so that would be the plan there. Scouts. Now, interestingly, he said there's nothing to the west of Charleroi, and I was half expecting. And I don't want to see where the scouts are. I know they're down there somewhere. There, okay. I was half expecting that a lot of the French movement was going to be up this road. If I'm honest with you, I would have thought they were coming up here. As well as up here. Okay. Um, and potentially up through Chalet. Chatelet, beg your pardon. But it seems that it's just the last two options. Maybe Charleroi and up. But the way his troops are sort of coming up on that Cotterbar Road would suggest that that might be the case. 
And what else have we got? My scouts, nothing. Nothing at all. Just here. And then coming through these woods here. But we have sent word to Taylormen that we're going to shadow these um, French that are coming here. Wow, we still got a bit of third call. Bloody supplies just taking uh, forever and a day to get through. Other than that, it's going to be a lot of marching still. Getting everybody into position, second, third core. Bringing them off the road, getting to our defensive lines. Um, now, that's nicer now. Yes. Um, I did say Marbe. Now, how... No, that is going to be my front line is going to run initially something. Um, wait, we've got good ground here. Potentially something like this. And then see what forces we can have there. I don't think that's the worst front line in the world. It's, it's not by ground. I've scouted it before, as I said. So that's going to be the plan. Um, Courier-wise, 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 if I can find where I've opened this. And that's not what I wanted at all. Why has that disappeared to now? Courier-wise, there was nothing this turn. Um, oh, well, everything's gone there. Oh, my computer's going all strange and funny. Um, curry wise there was nothing. Uh, the last message, there's no messages received this time. Um, and it's just going to be a case of getting. Um, the last message was from my scouts to say to Telemann that there was a lot of French combined arms coming through these woods here. Which is exactly what's happening. And that these, they're going to shadow the French moving north towards Fleurus. So... I'm going to get on. I'm going to get everybody moved. Um, think about a dispatch possibly. Might be some contact, but I doubt. It's going to be a lot of marching around. So that is what I am going to do, and I'll see you in a few. So I do think that... Um, that's all my movement done. Um, thinking about couriers, I don't think there's any need to send a message for the sake of sending a message, which you can do sometimes. Um, open office and OBS really don't get on for some reason. Um, where are we? Loads of stuff open. Nope, doesn't like it. Never mind. You're not missing out. There is no. Oh, is that it? Uh, no, no, never mind. Okay. Um, I'll start on the north then. Um, I've still got a lot of troops to to move. Good job I check. Well, I do, in fairness, because I've missed these before, I do check every time as well. The rest is second call. So I, I will move them down. Excuse me. A sip of water and... Okay. Um, Second and third call. Basically a case of just getting them all sorted out. Sending some scouts out. And, yeah, just reserve cavalry going up here. Um, what else have we got? So it's, just, it's nothing new, really. I don't want to bore you with the same thing each and every time. Only anything that's new. Getting into quite a strong position for first call. Um, with that river protecting us on the road. We've got some cav uh, some artillery there. Um, just to watch the British go by. And I suppose if I can get the rest of first call out, they can withdraw. They're supposed to be going up towards melee. The road is open. Um... And the rest of the first core are coming. Now, my fallback position is the only place really where there might be some action. Artillery, uh, cavalry um, have withdrawn. I've um, horse artillery, can we? Just get some ranging shots. No, didn't think so. It would be a bit too far. I'm a little bit wary that he's attacking this position on two fronts, potentially three if I'm not careful. It's going to be a. A timely withdrawal, um, an organised withdrawal. Um, nothing there. These chaps, who can you see? Got some heavies, we've got some dragoons. Yeah, why not? Let them know we're here. 
Um, and up here, I would say they're too far. Yeah. Get some guns up here. Just to remind them that we're here. Now, we've got these guns covering the road. So, next turn or two, I'm going to be gone from here anyway. Put some Lambo out. Um, the plan with them is to, A, protect these guns and go into square the next turn just to give it a little bit more protection. Routed units, try and get them further up. And I think that that's about it, really. Um, I suppose the other news, Telemans arrive with Nisenau. Um, and they, where are they? Uh, there they are. Um, they're just sort of around Marbe. They can discuss things. Um, face to face. So there's no um, careers messages need to be sent. But it, essentially, the, the arrival time is zero. Um, should they have to send each other, uh, anything to each other? A bit like Pierce and Bluka, who are still in Ligny. Um, Eventually, I'm going to pull him and his his bodyguards out, I suppose, uh, and get who's that Harding to back to uh, Wellington, who I'm going to pass over at Genap. So he will be part of his personal bodyguard when he actually gets back up there eventually. Other than that, there's not a huge amount of. So what are we on? Six thirty on June fifteenth. I'm going to hold out for a, effectively a day, and I've got a day. Before the British arrive, I think that's loads of time. What have we got in terms of um, reinforcements? God, it's been a while since I um, I played on today. Eight thirty on June fifteenth. We got some supply coming. Okay. Uh, that's not anything to do with me. What's going on here? Oh dear. Some funny goings on, as you can see. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're getting a tour of the battlefield. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Right, on that note, I have, as I said, that is everything that's done. Um, and, yeah, nothing major to report. How are we doing victory wise? afraid to go on here now. Um, God, I've lost 4,000 men. That's, it seems a lot for absolutely nothing that I've done. Um, he's got quite a few cavalry losses. Leaders, five leaders. Who have they lost? Um, info, leader casualties. <laughs> no one of great significance, I suppose. Um, and we lost Steinmetz down here. Just north of Charlotte towards Julie, yeah. Okay. Right, that's turn 33 done. I will send uh, that turn on to them. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you for turn 34. Well, hello and welcome back to turn 34. Which has seemed like it was absolutely ages away since I've done turn. Just everything so big. And I found myself playing a lot of um, Napoleonic war games, um, tabletop stuff, war games, um, really rules, killing counters in my short amount of time I do have. Um, I, when I want to sit down and do this, I'm just So, I thank you for your patience. Um, um, you know what's pretty new is, if you haven't already, make sure you join the, uh, our friends in the room, because you know if you've got very rough, you're going to be pissed. Shit here, um, some, or a lot of people, um, I'm going to say it again. I'll be very kind and generous, um, as well as, uh, John, the guys themselves. And I've been buying the vouchers as well. So there's three vouchers off the ground, three chances to win. Um, just to try and end the year in a little bit of a, a bright note. Speaking of bright notes, the potential rubbish is, what have we got here on the phone? We've been playing around. 
five minutes and then we'll have a cup of coffee. Because everyone's got a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little So, first call. tempted to take some squadron of cavalry on the west side of this wood to draw off some of this cavalry. I'd rather they did that and throw me there than along the straight road. It could affect them a little bit. I think they need everything there. Um, I mean, you just go and look around it. So this will only delay an action to try and get the rest of the first four or so on the left up here. They get into it. Fairly. Push cavalry, they're not really doing. Oh, they're sort of going to take a position behind me, which is that's okay, by the look of it. Um, I'm looking forward to scout this road, but they're not really going to throw themselves away until Wellington gets here and he can start making some decisions. Second core, um, into position, so it's going to be a little bit of a boring time again. Here as well, so a bit of a mess at the moment. Got some random, I don't know, scouts on here, but random supply lines right back here, trying to get them up. And then there was on the road um, up here, get them out of the way as much as possible, just to protect the tail. First of all, going across. There we go. So one thing, um, operational studies group, they've brought the developer. Um, their Waterloo game, I can't remember the reference, I can't remember the reference, but it's one of the best in the a couple of times they did, but absolutely fantastic man, they love me. And I'm going to edit and replace any of the missiles to do the line. It's quite hard sometimes to find uh, sources. Four maps, especially sort of old maps and things like that, that are online, that are available, that are of good quality, that are legible, um, or you don't have to pay a fortune for. So, I'm going to go off that and hopefully build up around some sort of Patrick Brown, Mount St. John, anyway, uh, where we are. I've seen enough, I've got all this free time, but fuck. <laughs> Only in one thing to do. Right, so I'm going to start moving. Uh, and then. Back to you.
the only one that came through this time we've seen first call to Bluka. Uh, leading elements of Michael have reached melee. I thought it was a while ago. Uh, French are in pursuit in force from Charleroi with numerous cavalry and infantry. So Bluka now knows that the French are coming up that north road um, up towards Cartrevoir. I like cavalry being sighted to the west, uh, west of Fort Minyaluf. My condition is fair. Too bad. Too bad. Um, and he was told earlier on that he, well, he would um, sort of take a defensive position there while like delaying up, so sort of splitting two now. So I, I, I do need to sort of just check in, um, maybe tell what's going on. Um, let's have a look then. So, second corps, Kinsey Cohen on there, march down, and that Gentile, give it a few times out there, how often do you think? Well, I thought. I think they're going to get there during the night. Uh, Second Corps Reserve Cavalry, they're going in that sort of crevice, that little bit there, um, starting to build up. Starting to get some brigades now into a defensive position. Third um, Corps starting to spread out as well. Because that's not my way, that's quite far south from my way. I think that's, that's an ambitious problem. So, nice now. Main action with first core, I suppose. Now, first core, my initial defensive position, melee. They are getting their in force starting to spread out a little bit. And then I had a bit of a thought. This lower ground here could act as a potential trap point, let's say. Um, and then they come off the road, but. Then again, I've got my back to the river, so the benefit of having troops in the low ground to act as a little bit of a surprise, I think it's negated more by having a river at your back. You don't want to fight with the river at your back. Just disrupt everyone. Um, a long road. We need to start getting people up this road as much as possible. I did draw off, uh, what, 10 squadrons to go on that east side, of, sorry, west side of the woods. Um, I do have some artillery. Now, um, had 
double stuck my cavalry round here just because he's threatening and he's closing in. Uh, lots of material we should be able to find some. there for him. Like last turn, sweeping on my cavalry. It's not bad ground here that I've got, I suppose. But it's not meant to be permanent, is it? I'm dying to get everybody out, but um, slowly but surely it's going to take a uh, quite withdrawn. Nobody else to sort of come back and meet them. They've got to go up that straight road and I cannot let that cavalry sweep round. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know clear there because see from what we see here people that left them in the cavalry round swept past them that's all over me cut these guys off don't um because it's yeah they can't come from there so hopefully we'll see um an infantry spread that's an infantry that's the only thing I've got sort of holding Roger trying to get them back into that as soon as possible. Okay, so I think all in all we move down. I'm gonna start typing some messages up. Um, it's a bit boring to watch, so I'll get back to the view with that. Um, and then an initiative roll for the night. So, um, I would say, just so that we can sort of change the plan and the position, so I'll just ignore the second one. So that's what I'm going to do, I'll get back to you in a few, and I'll have to bring some missiles. Alright, so, after a little bit of finding everyone in the way of the messages, um, well, Zetan, um, first of all, had to do his initiative roll, and, uh, sorry, he didn't, Nizen had it, and we got Nizen now with a rating of 8, so, I, I mean, he was super staff, he was normally commander on the day, so it's not going to take much to, to uh, go against what Fluka said, and Fluka sort of said, <laughs> you're doing that. Um, so you got an 8, and um, I, I had to do the roll first, because then it sort of dictated what I was going to send, so he got a 4. Passes initiative, he loses one of his, uh, one of his uh, initiative rolls, he's got a 7 next time or so on. I think I've covered this before. Um, and his message was... There we go. I've arrived south of Marbay, taking nominal commander, second and third core elements which are arriving to speak. I've surveyed the ground and observed that the potential defensive value of a line to the south of the border hooped uh, to Wagner is of the most benefit. And I have ensured that our troops should create a strong line here. I've been informed that Allied troops are along our right flank, and I've set my HQ here, and I'm in close contact with the team. So, uh, that, that, that's pretty true. Um, it's exactly true, that's where he is. Um, he's up here. Um, with team and so that line at Wagner Day and Border Hurt along here, that's sort of the woods, the river. Um, that's, a, that's good. So, um, all we need now is a defense device and a roll. We've got an 11 there. That's all we want. This one. Okay, uh, an 11 delay roll. So, day 7. Um, Zeton has told Luca the French are continuing to march northward on the side of the force of Lume. I'm planning to withdraw all my forces from Lume to join the remainder of my four at melee. So it's just reconfirming sort of what he already knows from there. Oh, French should say. So delayed by French or something. Turn forty, so he'll be taken from that. Tiedemann just telling you, uh, um, Luca, of course, he'll spread out, but should arrive and take up a defensive position south of Marbe. That's what we're now. 
I plan to send my reserve cavalry to my left flank to cover the ground north of the Ligny and Snobre. That works on the middle um, so he's up here teaming with uh, Liza now. And I'm just thinking, when we get down to the bag, we may possibly cross this with fire from here, this area. There's a lot of open ground here that's not really going to be covered. Um, and we need to keep this sort of road open for Bombulo to arrive eventually. Um, and to make sure the French don't carry out a massive sort of sweeping uh, to, the, to the east. So this sort of area, that's a breath, that's the third call is our cover, I wouldn't go in that position. Oh, excuse me, hot uh, So we've got that one out of the way. Uh, next one. And then blue goes back up to Norway. Uh, French were massing on the Gossier Road, although I've not been sighted in the main force elsewhere. This is possibly their main thrust. My chief of staff had his age group at Marbeck, the second and third corps of the French of Rhine, and myself being the time of the moment to start on the land of the sea to resume the map. That's about it, really. Um, now, because we've only got the hex for the edge of the map and Brussels we worked out is a distance above that. I can't um, there's, there was three rolls for this one. Um, just to cover. There we go. So we've got 13, 24, and 7 is 31. So an extra 31. And there we go, that's a, another turn on. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Um, so that other you guys, hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Just like Christmas and holidays, perhaps, and a bit of time off. This will be more frequent and more often. Yo, don't get to join the raffle, make sure you join the group. And there's at least three. John Terry's coming up in eight as well, so I see a lot of you already have got your, your want list uh, all ready for that. Other than that, stay safe everyone, and we will catch you, I shall catch you for 10.35.